We have a twofold duty of leadership of members of this House. One is to show that we are following the rules that apply to everybody else, and the other is to lead by example in showing that we are getting on with our essential work. And I think, with the proposals that have been brought forward, uh, we are doing both of those. What we do in this House is not something that it is nice to do, a frippery, a bauble on the British Constitution. It is the British Constitution. It is at the essence of how our governmental and constitutional system works. The ability to hold the government to account, the ability to seek redress of grievance, the ability to take up those matters brought to us by our constituents so that they may be put right, is best done when this House sits. In 1349, when the Black Death affected this country, Parliament couldn't sit and didn't. The session was cancelled. Thanks to modern technology, even I have moved on from 1349, <laughs> and, I'm glad to say, and I'm glad to say that we can sit to carry out these fundamental constitutional functions. And I'm enormously grateful to many who are just as traditionalist as I am, who have accepted these constraints, and you, Mr Speaker, who compete with me to be a traditionalist, I sometimes think. You, Mr Speaker, have been at the forefront in getting them to happen because Parliament, the House of Commons, is essential to how we are governed.